There we are. Yeah, it said this at first when we were doing the test too. Oh, okay. it, it might just take a little, a little bit. Okay, looks like we're good now. All right, gang, we are finally back after uh, what almost two week hiatus, uh, and. We are in the new house. house is oh, I'm sorry, I thought I was on the train. I can't even you were you were just on the edge. Uh, I figured it would be better to center it a little bit than just have all this empty space over here. Yeah. So yeah, we are in the new house, finally settled in, and we have internet, which means we can come to you. Uh we So are last week everything wasn't set up yet. The week before we were literally we were moving. Yeah, on on Tuesday. Yeah. On Tuesday, like from like 8:30 in the morning all the way until like 11 o'clock at night. No joke. So yeah, streaming wasn't <laughs> happening. <laughs> uh, now that we got everything squared away, we're gonna be back to our usual Tuesday night slot. Um, and we are currently playing Tomb Raider, or Rise of the Tomb Raider, sorry. Um, we still got, what, a couple more weeks with this, probably. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember how far along we are. I had no idea what's going on. It's been so long. And how long this game is going to take is also going to depend on how many of, like, the side missions and optional challenges I choose to do as part of the official stream. Um, probably... Less because those are just kind of fetch quests, and we have lots of other games to do. Yeah. We've gotten some requests on the daily grind, and I have one other game in particular that I also want to do after Tomb Raider. So, uh. So, yeah, we gotta get busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fly through this. So, to kind of, uh,. Recap where we are in the story here. Um, Laura shows up in this um, Siberia, this looking for this secret, this lost ruin. If I can talk today, uh, shows up in this looking for this ruin in uh, the middle of Siberia that supposedly has like the secret to, like, the, the immortal soul, as she says. Um, so she gets here, and there are already natives living here, and they're protecting something, but she has also drawn Trinity here. Trinity being the bad guys who are also looking for this immortality so that they can control who lives and who dies and who has the immortality and all that fun stuff. Still lots up to come about Trinity. I could talk about them a lot more, but I don't want to ruin everything for everyone. So, uh, we had just met Jacob before we left, who is a kind of Laura's partner during the game. And really cool character. She's reloading. Shoot her. But so we had just met him, we got captured, and he was in jail with us, and when we escaped, we helped him get out as well. And when we hook back up with him, he is going to lead us to the town where the natives live. We will start getting more information on what's going on. Right now, I am really sucking at killing these guys.
Throwing a grenade! Uh. He's hit! She's wounded. She's a coughed. She doesn't stay wounded. Oh, uh, come on, asshole. Really, because, really, because as far as I can tell, I am very much alone. Oh, not anymore. Yeah, I did. Well, it turns out, running out of ammo is not helpful. Stranger things have happened. I mean, they are a secret organization that's been searching for secrets to immortality. So, they might have found something close. All right, now time to loot the like five million people that I just killed. The game of archaeology. <laughs> hey, if Indiana Jones taught us anything, uh, that it's all right to slaughter like thousands of people in the name of being a shitty archaeologist.
I do kind of want to know how many people, like, decided to go into archaeology. Like, based on, like, either Indiana Jones or, like, Stargate. And realizing that, like, those are in no way representative of what actual archaeology is like. And it's like lots of hard work and not, a lot of not fun, Take not profitable. Care. I think I'm close to the train yard. Are you there? The fact that everyone around here is dead before you got here and you can't get in touch with Jacob is a little troubling. I don't know. Kinda glad he's on our side. As of right now. Yeah, seems like a badass. I thought I lost you back there. Not a chance. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Let's move! We can get up through there! I know you are going to be shocked, but everything is going to blow up around her. To be fair, at least, to be fair, at least in this instance, it's because there are people actively trying to kill her and not just things spontaneously exploded because of her presence. Well, she's getting pretty close. Well, I mean, this is an M-rated game, but I still don't think they would uh, allow you to actually go through the procedures you have to do to, uh, to fend off hypothermia in this situation. I mean, she's a croft. You aren't allowed to actually hit her. Yeah. Just hope she gets killed in the resulting avalanche. Fight for it, Kit. Dad, is everything all right? Dad? <sighs> eh, well, that wasn't traumatizing at all. Yeah, no. <coughs> Take it easy. 
Drink this. It'll help. You could have left me in that river. Would you have left me? I'd have thought about it. <laughs> what makes you think I didn't? So what makes you risk so much to come here? A divine source. I know what you're looking for. But I want to know why. When I was young, he was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist too. In his last years, he was obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him, including me. Our last conversation was a fight. He... He took his own life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but... Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. It changed everything. Namely, I realized my an immortal right. witch queen he died alone. trying to possess her best friend. But he died so, for something. That was a little intense. So you believe the divine source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, it needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. A difference is not always for the best. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Can't. Or won't. I'll fight Trinity with you, but my goal remains the same. If I give up now... You'd feel like you'd be letting him down. Not just him. I need answers, Jacob. Laura really need to needs to understand. work on her negotiating skills. Yeah. When she, you're, you're working to try and make allies with someone, you right probably now, shouldn't continue finish. insisting that you're here to take away the thing that the they've spent their entire life trying to protect. Or well, there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. I'll be back soon. Considering he's talking about taking a shortcut through an old copper mine, I feel as if we're obligated to give Jacob some kind of disclaimer about what happens any time Laura goes through any kind of old structure. Jacob, are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Overwatch, we have contact with the native in the old sawmill. 
We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. That is actually the Hello, introduction to the DLC, the Baba Yaga I can't quite put my story on. DLC. It's strange, but almost comfortable. Which I think I'll do the first part, because that's like right here. And it wouldn't phase him. But then save the rest of I it. Sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. At least for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on. Yeah. Don't shoot. I'm with Jacob. He told us to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh, God. Are you all right? I'll live. But I need a safe place to rest in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there, but I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help us? Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Because I Jacob was right about Laura you. hasn't had enough traumatizing experiences with wolves recently. Yeah, just go kill a bunch of wolves. Okay. There we go. I knew there was something over here. We were fools. Careless, arrogant fools. We thought we could stop them, but the Red Army outnumbers us. Their weapons are superior, and they just keep coming. Many of my people, including myself, have been captured, forced to work the mines of our own mountain. It's only a matter of time before they discover our secret. When this happens, we must be ready.
boy, I wonder if the cave with the wolf den is the one that has all the dead animals scattered outside of it. Cat's always getting in the way. So that was a little unfair. But considering all the traumatizing experiences we've had with wolves in the past, I feel fine about it. <laughs> yes, in in the first Tomb Raider game. The wolves are bastards, and you keep running into them, and they are not fun at all. in one of like the earliest moments of the game when you get your foot gets trapped in like the bear trap and then the entire pack of wolves decides to descend on you as you're completely immobile and uh yeah they're assholes on Yamatai yeah Is it safe? The cave yeah. is clear. Yeah, the, the, bears are, the bears are the big enemies in this Thank game, you. not the wolves. Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but you weren't the one who needed it. That's right, Biatch. I don't need your protection. Since we're here, we need to know why they were following head to the sawmill and take out these guys, which technically starts the DLC, but I'm pretty sure I don't have to go do the rest of it. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. 
I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'm sorry. I'm sure he'll be all right, but I can't help just now. No, I, I understand. I'll go after him as soon as I can bandage my wound. And which means you will still be waiting here whenever I decide to come back here and start doing the missions. The Baba Yaga DSC is actually really, really cool. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I also had a lot of trouble getting through it when I played through it on a save that had already beaten the game with much higher level weapons and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave it for a while and we will come back to it because it is really, really fun really trippy and you kind of leave it not really sure what was actually real and what was a hallucination <laughs> why would I want to go sit with that loser I think you could say that about this 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 entire place. I think would fit under the qualification of something awful happened here. I think about dad every day. For years I was so angry with him for losing himself in his work, for chasing what I thought were fairy tales. I had no idea. I keep telling myself that I was young, that I couldn't understand, but I still lost him. And now, for some reason, I feel more connected to him than I ever did when he was alive. He never got this far, but I know he's with me. The Divine Source is here, and I'm going to find it. He knew that it could change the way we understand a human soul. That it could change the world. But he's gone now. And I'm the only one left who knows he was right. That might be a little bit much that you're taking on you yourself there, lawyer gonna completely change how we view the human soul. But you know what? She's a croft. Because it's like the only joke I have. <laughs> More propaganda. Work hard to fight cold and hunger. Wow, that's, that's kind of shitty propaganda. Yeah, Lara, are you okay? Yes, I'm at the base of the old Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. The building will probably be in shambles by the time I get there, but I will meet you there. Comrades, 
This report comes to you following an unprecedented discovery in the mountains of Freedom Station. Our deep mind crew of course it will be called Freedom Station. A cavern filled with incredible ruins and artifacts, the likes of which have never been found in the motherland. The workers that we acquired from the native population have become agitated following the discovery. They clearly know something about these ruins. We will begin working the prisoners around the clock, for I believe we are on the verge of an even more amazing discovery. That should deal with their agitation. <laughs> Cle clearly, there won't be any negative repercussions to that. one looks like a game. These pieces look familiar. I know I've seen something like this before. Okay, that's less than helpful. Oh, right. Uh, it was weird. It is, it is, it is apple pie filling on top of like a cornbread muffin. Cause whatever. It, it, it looks like a cornbread muffin to me. No, I've, I've, it's the only thing I've ever seen that's shaped like this before. Jess put multiple things together to cook this and then decided it was an apple thing. Yeah, this is usually how Jess's cooking goes. Like she sees something on Pinterest, then cannot follow directions and ends up making her own thing up anyways. Because she's like, I can do that better. <laughs> as long as it works. That's what matters. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Um, things a little doughy in the middle. It's gotta be because of all the pie doughiness. Well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't want to be bad. When you mix a bunch okay. of recipes together, you just don't always know. <laughs> I mean, the thing, the thing didn't burn. It might be burning all of Mike's taste receptors off. Right, yeah. But the first bite was good. I can't feel anything anymore. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the apple They have a term for that. There's a dessert. It's like a little apple something. Apple blossom? Mm. I think it's called an apple blossom. Okay. <laughs> this exists. It's really clean. Ugh. Not even an apple. We have 600 of those. I'm sure of it. <laughs> How whack is this? We're at Walmart yesterday. And we were trying to find... We're this is awesome content, by the way, for mm -hmm. every, everyone watching, just sitting there watching Walking us eat. <laughs> I think our one viewer got sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so whack. We were at Walmart last night, and there was a pack of... What was it, like... 60 of them. You no, know, it was like 100. Oh, right. 
It was just a small pack for two dollars. Then there was a six hundred count pack for two eighty seven. Who is not gonna pay the eighty seven cents for another five hundred napkins? Like who? You'll eventually use them. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, you can have a pack of napkins or Sam's Club. But yes, very good. You did excellent. Cool. I started off with one recipe and then I didn't like how it was, so then I just put two things together and kept it. <laughs> can you go get me a... Uh... Cream soda. I was yeah. actually about to get up. <laughs> yeah. I was actually about to, I got it. You, you've done well, lady. This is me plugging in my random Why? She is very giggly today for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, you. Did he turn it off? Ow. Did he get you? Yeah. <laughs> he jumped right on his nuts. Oh man. Oh man. And I got I got cup holders over here, so if you need to sit it down, sit your drink down, let me know. I'll uh cheat this can real quick. I'm gonna make a mess. Nope, this I'm just gonna hold it the whole time while I'm playing the game. Hey, I can play the DS one handed with like my thumb and my pinky. You could maybe like manage to work something out. That's not how this works. Oh, I didn't get to ask you this. I mean, thank God it's not the N sixty four controller, which requires you to like grow an extra arm to <laughs> be able like to a, use it. The, the carpal tunnel controller, as it was. <laughs> yeah. This is what the twentieth anniversary of the release of the N sixty four was either today or yesterday. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, somebody mentioned it on the daily grind this morning, and I was like, "Oh my god!" I remember I never had one, but I remember renting one for a weekend from Blockbuster just to play Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. I had one, but I had like no games for it because I actually had to like own my allowance and I didn't get a whole lot so I think the only the only game I remember owning for it was like Star Fox which was a, uh, which which was an awesome game but that was also when I made the mistake of informing my parents of the rating system for video Two games. So, yeah. so then, no, because I was, I, I had just beaten Star Fox and I was really excited and I was telling my mom about how you take down Andros and she was like, this sounds really violent, I'm not sure if I should let you play it. So that in an effort to save my ability to continue playing Star Fox, like, listen, it, it, it's rated E for everyone. Yeah. Mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now. And but I'm alive. unfortunately, that Dustin meant that keeps telling us we're out here I wasn't allowed to play we're doing T work. games until I actually became a teenager. I'm starting and... to see that now. Oh man, yeah, that's that's fun. I was, I mean, I was kind of in the same boat. I was watching. My mom didn't let me watch Cat Dog. Not natural. Yeah, pretty much. It was pretty much exactly it. Negative. Even if we did, there's a lot of structural damage from the report. To be fair, that show was weird as hell. Yeah. Yeah. First contact was in one of the mine shafts. They shifted all operations to retrieval. But it looks like the revolt came within a week. 
Workers finally had enough. Oh, you guys see. Because Lord doesn't do enough damage otherwise. Now you now you can craft Molotov cocktails at pretty much any time. Russia, there's always a bottle of vodka laying around. How dumb is this? Uh, I was just updating the YouTube channel so that all of the video descriptions have all of the links to all the different social media stuff in the store. Some of them actually turned into hyperlinks and some of them didn't, and I couldn't figure out why. They all need to have HTTPS colon slash slash at the beginning, or else it's not a URL. Oh my god. I know! Because I thought, I was like trying to figure out what was wrong with them, and I tried that on one of them and it worked. So now I gotta go back and fix it all. I thought we were past this. Jeez. It's 2016. Types WWW. Come on. Like my parents. Hero of the Soviet Union medal. It's the highest honor given for acts of heroism. Perhaps one of the gulag. Actually, and by that I mean my mom, because my dad's a computer engineer, so is probably better with that stuff than I am. So. What's the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? HTTPS is secure. That's why, like, like the bank will always be HTTPS because they have to have a secure like connection. Another Soviet plaque. That was a cable that I worked in trying to find. So, I want you to look up for a second because this is this is insane, and it's something that no sane person would do. Yeah, that's putting a little too much faith in a random bundle of rope hanging from God knows what dilapidated building. A little too much faith in the arrows and in whatever rope you have picked up from this dilapidated complex. And it's not as if everything else hasn't fallen apart around you. Exactly. Like this that you are using right now. And you just shot an arrow in it and pulled a huge chunk off of it and then you get a walk on it. Brilliant. Not sure. Can't really 
see. But I just lost contact with the sweep team down below. Understood. I'll radio the forward teams to be prepared. Can you see any movement? Like, oh my god, he just uploaded like 15 daily grinds. Yeah, well, no, I just moved them all into the playlist and it made a notification for every video that I put in a playlist yeah. for the daily grind. Like seven. Well, I was kind of behind on it. Okay. I'll try to start doing that daily so that. Oh, another day, another seven random guys slaughtered. Oh man, it's a rough life. Yeah. I mean, you know, I wouldn't be a homicidal maniac if they didn't force me to. appreciate the um, inconsistency in which fire affects things in this game because I could throw Molotov cocktails all around this completely wooden structure with burn everybody with burning the people but having no effect on the structure um, but 
in an action sequence, one fire arrow hits any structure and the entire thing the goes completely blessing. up in flames. They have halted normal operations also. and are beginning to plunder the riches of our ancestors. We are ready. Working with the foreign prisoners, we've managed to hoard weapons and dynamite. Yeah, that, guardians are that would be correct. We will um, use the chaos to revolt. The Red Army probably has been ruthless to us, but we temples, will pay them actually. back in kind. Right. Yeah. We will not stop until well, these invaders well, are Well, dead. one temple and Only one, like, will our entire ancient village <laughs> that, you, right. that you ran through. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, that more collapsed. I'm pretty sure fire was involved somewhere. Long way down. Again, kind of like I did nukes. in the first one, I'm kind of flying through these areas gave us a, big speech a lot faster than I would if I was just playing by myself. Because I like to collect everything. Like, as much as I can my first time through an area when I'm actually playing this myself, but... Especially in areas like this, sometimes that involves like a half hour of just banging your head against the wall trying to figure out how to get into a spot. I'm not going to make you guys go through that. With attack choppers and 50 cal machine guns, I'm on the wrong goddamn side of history. Paints a very rosy picture for you. Soviets stored the most valuable artifact from the site in this city. Let's crack it open. Who's got the torch? On it. Okay, the rest of you, don't touch anything. Catalog whatever artifacts you find. All of this came out of the mine? Yeah. The last reports say they shut down operations as soon as they found the site. Revolt must have come after. It's in confusion. This stuff is 
ancient. Writing's not Russian. Any idea where it's from? It's a Greek. <laughs> Now, I was very intent on getting at you. Too bad he's not a craft. That took a while. That guy literally just came running down the stairs right into the fire and killed himself. Winner of the Darwin Award. We've been up here for all of like five seconds. We already managed to set this entire building on fire. Yeah. This is how we're gonna deal with the woman who's charging right up the ramp at us. Is throw a is is throw a grenade at her. Seem to be making a habit of saving each other. Thanks. I'm glad you're okay. Is that the way through? 
Yes. There'll be more of them inside. We don't have to do this. Can't get rid of me so easily. I still need some answers. And there's no time to waste. This path will take us all the way through the mountain. My people used these ways until the Soviets arrived and began digging. What did they find down here? Enough to make them curious. They used machines and explosives to dig deeper. Did quite a lot of damage. Many of the old paths collapsed, but it's safe now. Or... it used to be. Yeah, I was about to say that doesn't, that doesn't sound good. seem particularly safe. They must have found the old mining equipment. They're trying to finish what the Soviets started. And there's no other way through. I'm afraid not. Not anymore. This complicates things. What's the problem? We're behind schedule. Shh, Hold shh. on! The wires here are corroded, but I think I can bypass it. Almost ready. They're gonna bring the whole place down. The Soviets destroyed much of the old paths. Those machines were not built for delicate work. We'll have to sneak past them. Yes. But we have to hurry. If they can. Can you hear me? This is bad. You think? Well, no. for once, gotta be a way out up there. none of that was her fault. I think I can. Okay, okay. I can get power to that console. Now we gotta fix that lift. I know! Just let me try something here. Damn it. The elevator's jammed. Frag looks rusted through. Okay, spread out. Let's find something. Someone's here! They're here! Uh, oh shit! It's intruder! Get up there. So move the minecart so we can get up. This should come in handy.
Because if there's anything that we need, it is more weapons. This is not nearly deadly enough. Lawyer. So now we set the elevator crashing all the way down. <coughs> Fortunately, we have the climbing axes of God. Okay. Well, I don't know what that was, guys. Um, the internet ran away. Internet randomly cut out for like five seconds. It was so done with us. I don't know. Maybe maybe Kit was chewing on the cable or something, but that's very loud. So we are back. Exploring the ruins of the ancient city of Katesh. <sighs> Too close. This mural shows the prophet preaching in Constantinople. Separated again. I just hope Jacob's still alive. I don't know exactly where I am. That's rapidly becoming the story of my life. <clears throat> Fighting to survive, yet strangely, I feel hopeful. There are incredible ruins all around me. This must be part of the Prophet's lost city. But how much more is true? Divine source. Could it really be here? Well, I feel like we wouldn't have made the game if it wasn't. So. Yeah, there's gotta be something going on. Onwards and upwards. These ruins are incredible. All right, we're ready. Let it fly. Oh no. Okay, let's get that door down. And of course, we're going to try and destroy these ruins. With grappling hooks. The source has to be somewhere down here. Now this wall looks like archaeologists can only preserve so much <laughs> Draw line somewhere. Well, to be fair, she's not about to destroy this place. Trinity is about to destroy it. Again, we now have heavy equipment time, in place within the main cavern. 
We intend to gain access to some kind of temple, even if we have to rip down its ancient doors to do so. While hundreds of artifacts have now been recovered and cataloged, two guard crews have gone missing in the mines. I have personally questioned the native prisoners. They claim to have no knowledge of the whereabouts of the missing guards. And though we've punished them harshly, I fear they are on the verge of revolt. Sounds like a great plan. Somewhere down here. Oh yeah. Now this wall. <laughs> That's what you think, the up. The alert. The other side. I'm gonna see if I can knock it. Be another way out. There. It's probably yep. fire and exploding. Yeah. Because oh. Laura's also down. Give me covering. <laughs> I'm not sure I would scream, come on, let's end this, to the person who has killed, like, at least 50 of my fellow... Yeah. Of my like fellow soldiers at this point. <laughs> Comrades, it is imperative that you respond to my communiques. We are now in dire need of supplies and reinforcements. A full revolt is in progress, and the prisoners now control the excavation site and surrounding facilities. In the retribution, I have ordered mass executions of prisoners from the native population. With any luck, these rebels will lay down their arms and surrender to save their own countrymen. Yeah, this plan doesn't seem to have... Uh... Worked out for you very well. <laughs> Someone tried to get through this door before.
Yeah. Taking that zip line onto the back of a truck that was leaning over the edge of the cliff. Not the best idea you've oh, ever had. Oh my god. How does anything actually work? Like, that should have exploded. And then. So then, you can do this. Ah. And cut the rope. I'm breaking down the door. Oh my god. Because of course we came in here and we were so appalled that they were breaking down the door to this temple. So, so at the first so at the first no. opportunity, we are just going to continue their work of breaking into the temple. Of course. There by the mural. Open fire!
if you didn't wear a headgear that had that bright red light on it, that was basically screaming, shoot me, laying down the layer of fog to block your advance might actually have accomplished something. But instead, we went with the bright light. Instead, we went with the. Bullseye on it. Instead, we went with the shoot here to kill me. You know, you could have at least followed, like, the Batman plan. And had, like, the bright symbol that everyone can see be where you have the most armor. But that was clearly... Too sophisticated for you. Now this makes sense. If I follow these directions. That was pretty traumatizing. <laughs> if I, for some reason, don't jump in this sliding pit of doom... Not going very well. You should have just followed. <laughs> there we go. Again, it's a good thing we have these miracle pickaxes that and then the ice. that never <laughs> fail. Yeah, like, I bet you any money, if I tried to do that, the pickaxe wouldn't stick to anything. Yeah. Gold sword I would have been dead before Jonah was gone. This belonged to a Byzantine noble. Which, by the way, hmm. what the hell? The blade itself was snapped off at the base. You don't have this to spoil the story, but... Is that it for Jonah? He just had that cameo at the beginning? No, we, okay. have, we have not seen the last of Jonah. Good. That was kind of a dumb way to <laughs> This time you've managed to fall into a whole new pit. Yeah. Congrats. It's an impressive number of of pits filled with Spikes. I will have to make that part of the uh, decor at my house at some point.
not not gonna <laughs> respond to that. That was very awkward. as we proceed to continue our path of destruction. Unfortunately, this time it cut out right in the middle of a cutscene. So, Laura found out that there is an atlas to the city of Katesh that she is going to attempt to find so that it can lead her to the city and to the Divine Source. And that is what the atlas looks like in this mural, for some reason. It's a wonder this place is still standing. Not for long, if she's got anything to say about it. Even damaged the artistry is still. Oh boy!
And so, we arrive in the Geothermal Valley. We believe you. I escaped with one of yours, a man named Jacob. Where is he now? We were together, but we got separated in the mines. She killed him! No! No, 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 no! Jacob would never trust an outsider. Please, listen, I am not your enemy. I warned you. You should have left. Sophia! Enough! Father! He's actually just been, he's actually just been standing there for like two hours waiting for the right time to make the dramatic entrance. I thought I lost you. I'm glad you made it out of there. Go give Sophia, she is cautious. In her position I'd be the same way. What did you find out? Trinity is coming in force. We must prepare. Her? She's a friend. On my word, no harm will come to her. These ruins. We must be near the Prophet's lost city. Come. We do not have much time. Prepare the weapon stores. Secure the battlements. Go. Now. They're almost here. But we're outnumbered. The children and elders are vulnerable. Go. Get them into the catacombs. Light the fires. The valley must be alert. Incredible. Sophia, muster our fighters. Then meet me in the upper village. Don't disappear again, Father. There's much to do. If we had more time... Later. For now, I'll do what I can to help. down to the old radio. Get the generator working. We need to get one last transmission out and let the other settlements know what's coming. I'll do what I can. You too. Hmm. This vase must have been beautiful once, but someone's poked a few new holes in it and filled it with dirt. They must have used it to grow seedlings. I need eyes out across the valley. Head to the cliffs and take watch. I want to know the moment you see their helicopters. Yes, of course. If we see anything, we'll sound the horns. Go with God. Hello. Yeah. Greetings. We must keep them away from the Acropolis Tower, no matter the cost. We'll send the families into the catacombs below. But we have to keep the enemy Hello, engaged on this side of the valley. Jacob and his people are resilient. I'll give them that. Trinity is on their way. They could do with my help. And this atlas from the mural. 
If it really is some kind of map of the ruins, I've got to find it before Anna. If I don't, then all these deaths will have been in vain. And I can't have that on my conscience. With all of the destruction of Grace's artifacts, that's okay. That's... that's fine. I don't know... I don't know what you're insinuating, like... Why... You think that that would possibly be an issue? Oh, I don't know. Maybe something called archaeology. Yeah. Just putting it out there. Archaeologist. Did everybody forget that, including Laura? Clearly. Prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley. I need more wood for the fire. They knew they must have gone under the repair of the guard towers. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowhead in battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time you'll have left to forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths than births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better. Or worse. If you want to help get down to the lower village. Be here at any moment. I'll do I promise to can. keep them safe. What have I done? We should have been ready for this. We knew better, damn it.
Lara, I'm sorry if Sophia was less than welcoming. I understand. I'm just glad you were there to vouch for me. My people have spent decades fighting outsiders. It's not an easy habit to break. See if you can lend a hand with the preparations. A little hard work would go a long way towards building trust. I'll see what I can do. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those too old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial attack. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must bear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will we be victorious. For now, fight the fire. Warn the others in the valley. Today, we will fight the fire. Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous Understood? Yes! Understood! <laughs> Good. Now go. The Prophet be with you. Hello there. Greetings. <coughs> Something I can do for you. I know. You're busy. Trinity is going to be here soon. There's much to do. But I want to help. Let me show you that I'm on your side. Are we sure this pine resin will burn? You should have seen my once it caught, couldn't put it out. Even if it won't, the smell alone would be enough to drive them away. Greetings. Something I can do for you. I know, you're busy. Trinity is going to be here soon. There's much to do. But I want to help. Let me show you that I'm on your side. I'm sorry. This is not an easy time for us. I can see you mean well. But good intentions won't keep you alive out here. These new arrowheads seem blunt. We don't know what armor these invaders wear. I'm not sure these will be enough to cut through. At least we have a few rifles this time. Hello there. Trinity being here. The people, they're hurting. That's down to me. I led them here. God, it's happening again, isn't it? People are suffering because of my actions. No, no, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. That is Trinity pretty much true, though. Sooner or later. At least I have the chance to help stop them. Of getting to the divine source first and using it to benefit the world rather than cause more pain and suffering. <laughs> I just need to focus. For everyone I've lost, just keep moving. <laughs> Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the...
light the signal tower. They'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. some sort, but I can't quite read the words. An iron coin with one side cut and shaped into a crude claw tool, perhaps to remove nails. something to ask of you what can I help you with Jacob told me you've got a knack for exploring there are more old places tombs all around the valley you may have seen the wards placed there to frighten children it's not superstition those places are dangerous but they also hold relics of our former glory not just trinkets but knowledge I believe we need that wisdom now more than ever. A decade ago, I'd have gone myself, but now I could use your skills. The scouts tell me you've been inside one of the old tombs. Would you share what you've learned with us? Of course. They belong to your people. We don't have much, but I have these old coins. If gold has value to you, I can give you some for every secret you find. When you discover a tomb and retrieve the knowledge hidden inside, return to me. You'll be rewarded for your efforts, I promise. Oh man. I for one like gold. Yeah. The followers of the prophet Gold fled. is generally helpful. They were attacked in Syria.
that went well. We got fire arrows again. Cause there are already enough ways to make fire in this game. We'll need more. We're still putting four to an arrow. They'll fly with three. What? Hello there.
Jacob. Helicopters are headed your way. Get here as fast as you can. Get behind the barricade. Move, move. To be fair, the leader did just specifically tell them that you were a friend. Where is the divine source? Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Where is it? Wait! Wait! There's a map. The Atlas. It will show you the way. Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey. <laughs> So it turns out standing directly in front of the flame this is not a good idea. Men are dead and scattered. 
We should have killed her. You have nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail. Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? You will have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Please, just find it. My time is running out. you have forced me to commit they must have a purpose only you can show me the way grant me strength to continue for her for you for trinity please show me the way Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. The Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. I can help them, Jacob. Will you do this for us? Or for that which you seek? Right now, they're one and the same. I'll be back with reinforcements after I tend to the wounded. I need bandages. What is it? We're in bad shape, Jacob. The attack left us in shambles, and we have no one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll see to the wounded here. We have to get them to someplace safe. When that's done, We'll gather anyone still able to I still fight. can't see straight. Sophia, everything's blurry. You're going to get it. But it, it will get better, right? Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed. Alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. What are the physicians? I need to get some there. Stay here. And don't close your eyes. You're lucky. They've gone through all the way. Luck. Ah! Jim! It's going to hurt no matter what I do. You look a little gray. Are you hurt? I don't. I, I don't think. 
think so? Check. You might not even know you've been hit until it's too late. Yeah, you can still. I wish you could see the view from my tent, Lara. The dig looks so beautiful in the early evening, when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I decline it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too. How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad. Being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something important. I aced that test, by the way. makes sense if I follow these directions oh, no more <laughs> now my ancient coins that's what those monoliths are always Jacob, it's a mess up here. There's no sign of your people. Sophia might have taken them into the Why catacombs to meet the tower. But I've lost contact with her. All right, I'll look for her there. We're almost done evacuating the wounded. Wow. I'll join you soon. We heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak. Heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could. But his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that forum could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. Slow down, bro. <laughs> Wow. What? 
Yeah, did you see her head? I thought her neck was gonna crack. Probably just the ponytail makes it look really dramatic. It went whoosh. Probably got a, a red mark on her neck when that thing went around. I don't know what happened there. I mean, I normally don't notice the books in town falling to my death either. Oh yeah, every day. <laughs> that is... Yeah. Kills me a little bit more every day. Um. Or oh, it's the same sort of thing that she had in the first game, where it can hook onto the rope, and you can use it to pull stuff that's attached to like metal, but you can also hook it on when you are on the rope and use it to pull you up the rope. Oh. I hope I'm not too late. Well, it kind of like kind of looks like you are. I want answers, but what choice do I have now? I can't let Trinity wipe these people out. There are lines here that I crossed a long time ago, and there's no going back. I've got to help them. It's clear that Jacob's people would die for him, and he for them. That kind of loyalty is rare, and to find it here at the ends of the earth is truly remarkable. If I fight with them, perhaps Jacob will trust me enough to tell me what's really going on. Yeah, she's not really getting the whole, you know, they're keeping it hidden for, for a reason. She, she, she won't even consider, like, maybe, yeah, there's a reason. Maybe they who actually know what's going on oh God, no. and have spent their entire lives with this know what's going on a little bit more than the random stranger who 
just wandered in. The creatures of this valley were unfamiliar to us. Once. But now they are our brothers and sisters as much as any relative of blood. You can learn much about the creatures of our valley from the hunters. But they find worth in death. We must also find the gifts our brothers give while they are still alive. In the nests of birds, you'll find feathers for the fletches to craft arrows. Ask for what you need, and the valley will provide. No, I'm kind of just carrying it around because why not? There is actually one of like the bonus card things that you can get and use in like expedition mode is exploding chickens. Wow. You can get like like a chicken rocket launcher. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I can only hear the constant sounds of gunfire as I'm just as I'm just running around here, making sure I've scoured every last. Oh, maybe I could have saved those people from their summary execution. Be more thorough going forward. What's our status? Looks all clear here. Team 4 is searching the tunnels for any sign of the Atlas. Spread out and sweep the area. Kill anything still moving. And use your knives if you can. We need to conserve ammo. Sweep the area. Kill anything still moving. And use your knives if you can. We need to conserve ammo. Good thing we'll be plucking it all off your dead bodies. We're under attack!
Not really sure why they needed to put the flares out in the middle of the day. Check this out. We don't have time for this. Let's move. Yeah, well, you should make time. It's why we're here. Just, just give me a second. Come, Come on, on. we're missing the action. Oh, someone's turned into a pretty terrifyingly remorseless killer. Bastards are resourceful. They might have set up some traps. Don't worry. I'll kill anything that moves. Just take it slow. Stay sharp. I, I really am. I'm probably not right. Just get in the way. too many people maybe your people have sacrificed enough it's all we've known I misjudged you Lara tell me how I can help you I've got to get the rest to safety but the entrance to the catacombs is blocked I'll find a way to clear it you're gonna be okay 
give you a couple guesses as to what her solution to clearing the entrance to the catacombs involves. We'll get you to safety. Just hold on. I can't open this from here. It must be blocked on the other side. It's barred from the other side. Well, that's not the solution. That's just a way to get you over. There is still potential for explosions to be involved. There it is. Maybe I can unblock it from here. Hmm. Some kind of armory. Hmm. This should do it. Yeah, it seems safe. Oh yeah. Next to the wooden support beam. Brilliant. Oh, both from the sense of like, let's take the still active grenade and just and shove it into our quiver, because there's no chance. There's no chance of it Could going off in there. Object or a child's toy. And I'm not sure how exactly. It's supposed to work in practice. Like, how do you put the grenade on the arrow and then, like, pull out its pin as it's flying toward? Like, it seems like a very big logistical challenge. Get clear of the door! Thank you, Laura. They'll be safe in the catacombs for now. I know you seek the Divine Source, but my people will die to protect it. Your people are already dying. You can't protect it forever. We've lasted this long. But for now, I'm glad to have you as an ally. They're converging on the tower. We still got people there. Get the others to safety. I'll need you. The day I feared has come. There can be no more denying it. The helicopters last sundown represent a new incursion onto our lands. We have grown up in the shadow of our parents' struggle. And now, it seems, we will have our own. But the sacred duty must be done. We must protect the source of God's grace on Earth. Now I see. It speaks of something hidden. Oh, there's always something to cry about.
Especially then. that I'm heading him blow through one obstruction and crawl under the next one. And that was when the internet died. Again. Yay. So, for tonight we say goodbye and we'll be back same time next week uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to continue our adventures in the Rise of the Tomb Raider. Hopefully with a more stable internet connection. Yeah. Slash Twitch streaming. Yeah. Slash whatever evil spirit we pissed off this week. Can never have one one good week. One perfect one. That's okay, though. We'll figure this out. See you then. Adios.